We're staying in our annotation.dwg file, and what we're going to look at this time is adding a simple table to our AutoCAD drawing. Now, sometimes you have to do that because you want to annotate in a tabular format. So you might want to list hole diameters, or you might want to list dimensions, angles, materials that the bolting plate is made from. Now, we're just going to go to the Layers panel here on the Home tab on the ribbon, and you'll notice that we don't have a Tables layer. So we're going to go to Layer Properties, open up the Layer Properties Manager, click on this icon here for New Layer. New Layer will be Tables, just type it in like so, and just make sure you put a capital letter in there, just to keep it consistent. And you'll see it's adopted the red color of the current layer, which is dimensions. If you double click on the little sheet of paper next to the word tables, that makes it the current drafting layer. So when I close the layer properties manager, you can see in the layers panel that tables is now the current layer. Now you can draw a table from the home tab on the ribbon. It's in the annotation panel here. There's the table command there. You can also do it from the annotate tab and you can see there's the tables panel there. I need to just expand that out. That's purely due to the resolution of the recording of the videos. They kind of squish up a little bit on the ribbon there, but there's the table command there if I need it. Again, my preference is the home tab because I've then got things like draw and modify panels available. So I click on the table command. And what this does is it allows me to add a table. I'm just going to stick with the standard table style which is there. It's the only table style right now. I haven't set up any new ones. I'm going to start from an empty table. I can work from data links, you'll notice as well, and from object data in the drawing if I use the data extraction command. We're just going to create an empty table. So start from empty table. The insertion behavior, I can either specify an insertion point or specify a window that I want the table to fit into. We're going to use specify insertion point. And we're going to go for five columns with a column width of, let's change that to a nice round number of, say, 75, for example. And that's millimeters in this drawing. And we've got one data row at the moment with a row height of one line. So I'm going to go in there and change that to three. Now, when you're creating tables in AutoCAD, you have a title, headers, and data. So the first row cell style is title. That's the title of our table. Second row cell style is the header. So that's the names of each of the bits of data in each column. And then all other row cell styles will be data, obviously. So when I click on OK now, there's my table. And again, it's all full size in millimeters in our model space at the moment. So I'm just going to place that over here to the left. Click once and you'll see that you get the text editor tab on the ribbon and a big editing field for the title of the table. Now, you can't really see the table because we need to be zoomed in more. So just hit escape a couple of times and the table is there just using pan and zoom, getting nice and tight on the table so that you can see what you're doing. And then double click in the title box. And now you can see with the text editor how you can edit this. So we might put in here, so this might be dimensions table like so. And then we might just press tab. And as you can see, it takes us to the next cell, just like it would in Microsoft Excel. So that's a header. So we might put something like part number or part name, like so. Tab that across. And then we might have diameter. And then we might have radius and so on. And again, just make sure that you put your capital letters in, unlike me there. And just make sure it's neat and tidy. So you've got part name, diameter, radius. You might have part number and so on and so forth. Now, I'm not going to fill out that particular header there. And then I tab there. There's part name. So we might have bolt hole. Bolt hole number one, let's say. And the diameter and the radius and so on. I can then just click away from the table. And all of that information has gone in. It's on the tables layer, just in case I need to switch that layer on and off at any point to hide the table. So if I zoom out now, you can see I've got a table in tabular format on my drawing ready to go as well. So we've got to a point now where we have got our bolting plate in plan. We've got some notes, we've got some dimensions, we've got a table. As we move into the next chapter, we'll start making this into a more professional type drawing so that we can communicate our design intent even further.